This video will deal with uh, rotational inertia and angular momentum for the case of a merry-go-round. So we have uh, characteristics given in the problem. The, the disc has a diameter of 7 meters, mass of 92 kilograms. The merry-go-rounds are uh, short cylinders, though we know we can look that up in a table uh, as far as uh, calculating its rotational inertia. Then we have a a lump of mass, a person, 67 kilograms, 3 meters from the central axis. Um, I might ask you, how is it possible the person could be 3 meters from the central axis? Well, diameter of 7 meters, radius of 3.5 meters, so we're all right here with this distance of 3 meters. We have uh, someone else or some means of force uh, applied to the edge of the merry ground and it's coming in tangentially. That means it's going to have the maximum torque possible. It's going to, the force is going to be at right angles to the lever arm. And we're going to assume this force is constant for the full seven seconds of uh, duration of this problem. So ignoring friction, we're going to calculate first the rotational inertia of the merry-go-round and uh, person system. To do so, we need the total rotational inertia. Part of the rotational inertia is the disk of the merry-go-round, MGR, and there's a contribution to rotational inertia of the system uh, from the person. The merry-go-round is calculated with one-half MR squared, the filled-in uh, disk, and you should check the calculations, one-half times 92 kilograms, 3.5 meters squared. The person is a point object for the purposes of our calculation and the person is three meters from the axis. We're just using m r squared, m r squared for a single uh, mass. And we add those two numbers together, we get uh, 1,166 kilograms meters squared, the total rotational inertia. What is the angular acceleration of the merry-go-round? Well, the uh, force applied tangentially supplies a torque. We've calculated the rotational inertia Alpha is our unknown, the angular acceleration. So to uh, calculate alpha, we're going to have to do a side calculation of the torque. Torque is force times lever arm, 88 newtons, 3.5 meters. So we have uh, 308 newton meters of torque. We divide both sides by the rotational inertia, and we find that alpha is 0.264 radians per second squared. Very common in rotation problems that you would use this relationship, torque, equals rotational inertia times alpha. The rotational inertia has mass as a uh, something that would increase its value and also the distribution of the mass is important where you'll have to choose the proper calculation for I based on the shape of the object and where the axis of rotation is located. In this uh, situation we have one-half mR squared for the disk. We have mR squared for the person as the person's mass is all at three meters distance. The two numbers uh, provide then alpha and that'll be a typical result. And something else that's typical would be using the kinematic equations to uh, find some quantity after we know the alpha. And this particular situation we're asked to find the linear velocity V, the linear velocity meters per second. There's a relationship between V and omega, V equals R times omega, we have enough information to calculate the omega. If we assume that we started from rest, omega naught would be zero. We found alpha 0.264 radians per second squared. We're asked to uh, uh, do this calculation at the end of the seven second time interval. So we use a seven second and we get 1.849 radians per second. Now finding the linear velocity, we must multiply by the radius. So we have uh, this is the outer edge of the disk. I just noticed this. This is not the linear velocity of the person. This is the velocity of the outer edge. To find the linear velocity of the person, we should multiply by 3 times 1.849. So just uh, roughly, it's going to be 5.4 meters per second. So I need to put a big red uh, X on here if I can or something. I just noticed this. The problem is the person is only three meters away. So we have to take three times 1.849 and uh, I think it comes out to be about 5.5. .5. So 
So a little editing on the uh, on the run here. Three meters times 1.849 radians per second. And it's hard to write letters with a mouse. But be cautious. Uh, make sure you know what the R number is for the uh, point of interest. Many problems ask for the velocity on the edge of the disk. That would be the 6.47. This problem asks for the velocity of the person. And we have to remember that the person is uh, uh, not sitting on the edge, but is sitting uh, 3.0. 3.0 meters away from our uh, uh, axis of rotation. So keep practicing. I'll keep practicing also. Ask some questions.